Good day. It's Mike from Flex Radio. Today I wanted to go over with uh, some items we call Works with Flex. And uh, there's a number of um, pieces of software and some pretty cool hardware that uh, allow you to make station interfacing fairly uh, elaborate, if you like, or fairly simple, but incredibly f reliable as well. And unlike other HF radios you may be aware of uh, or have used in the past, uh, Flex radios have the ability to support different programs at the same time. Uh, and uh, drive amplifiers and antenna switches uh, all at the same time. And the nice thing about it, it's one of the few things where you can set it up once and, and forget it uh, because it will just continue to work. And as an example, uh, in um, pick any other vendor radio, uh, it has one CAT or RS-232 or serial port. They're all the same thing that uh, will control... Um, your, you know, you log it, you connect it into your computer, you hook up your logging program to it, but you know, oh, I want to run WSJT at the or uh, WJSTX at the same time, but you know, it cause there's a bit of a conflict, and then and there's some other tools you can install like VSP port splitters, and and it, ah, it's just too much work. And uh, and if you're a tinkerer, that's great. It's fun to make it work, and, and and believe me, I'm an integrator. I love putting that stuff together. But I'm amazed at how simple uh, the the engineers at Flex thought of this from the ground up and made station integration an absolute priority on top of what is an amazing radio to start with. So one of the first things um, I want to show you is uh, the USB uh, interfaces. So I'm going to drag in my smart SDR here. And uh, under settings, you've probably noticed something called USB cables. And if you uh, tab on that, uh, of course, it always pops up in a different place. Uh, you'll see that uh, I've got a couple of USB cables here, and and they're and let's open it up and see what they do. So I just tapped on tapped on one, and I hit edit. Now this is where the strength really comes. Let's call this, you know, amplifier. And what this is going to do is, and it's sort of beyond what we want to talk about today, but this is going to send cat data or frequency and band data directly to the amplifier from the radio. So you don't have to have a computer in between. And what are you going to use this with? Oh, amplifiers, steppers, or anything that needs to know what band or what frequency you're on. It's a cat cable. It could also be a binary coded da uh, data cable, which we sell. Um, and uh, that's further configuration. But let's just talk about basic serial cat. And what do we want it to do? Well, if you've got a 6400, 63, 64, 6500, you probably want it to, tra to follow the transmit slice, meaning as my focus changes from one VFO or slice to another, I want that band data to go to my amplifier so that the amplifier changes bands from 80 to 40 or 20. But if you have a 6600 or a uh, 6700, you may want it to be always tied to a transmit antenna. So in this case, I want it always on antenna port one on the back of the radio. And maybe if I had a second amplifier, I'd add another one of these cables. And you can add as many as you need by just using a USB powered hub. Uh, you can say I can make that go to select uh, antenna two. Or maybe it's a transverter. Or maybe it's a receiving um, uh, antenna, you know, XVTRR, which stands for receiving. In the, uh, in the bit world, uh, it's a little more... Um, I actually have never played with this, as you can tell. Here we go. In the bit world, you know, you've got a whole bunch of things. You can tell it to what to go to. Band, um, etc. So uh, frequency range is pretty powerful. So uh, this is uh, if you have a stack of transmitters, you may use this. Or for uh, filters, bandpass filters and things. You know, whatever you want to develop. Uh, and so there's a lots of lots of things you can expand upon. So I just wanted to say that you know that's what um, what's available. And there's a document uh, nowhere near complete, but it gives you an idea. It's called the uh, the USB interface guide. Uh, it quickly downloads it. We're going to open it up, and um, you'll see that we talk about device configurations for. Uh, amplifiers, uh, steppers, uh, down east microwave devices, uh, etc. And this is by no ways the limit. You can do so much more with that. So I have a page through that if it uh, if it interests you, and uh, uh, you can easily read through that. So getting back to um, what works with Flex, uh, here are some of the higher or the well known programs that we know that uh, interface directly with Flex Radio. Uh, first off, um, I really wanted to touch on uh, Dog Park SDR. 
the it's a client it's a full-blown uh, smart SDR client it works on a MacBook Pro type of thing um, Don I had a long chat with Don Agro uh, about it and um, he designed this from a different vision he didn't want to know smart SDR as a developer he, he had his own vision of what it would look like wonderful guy wonderful support it's not free um, however it uh, uh, you know, I've seen him answer emails, uh, you know, on a Sunday morning uh, and uh, type of things and uh, tweets and stuff. He's got some really cool integration. So Dog Park SDR, if you're a full Mac user and uh, want to run a smart SDR client right on your MacBook. The other one, though, for Apple users is uh, Smart SDR for iOS uh, by Marcus. And this runs on an iPad or an iPhone. Uh, it allows you to access your HF rig uh, in your house or over the uh, over the LAN or over the WAN, which is remotely, say, we always jokingly say Starbucks. It does require version 2.0 software to do this. And uh, again, it's not a free product, but very reasonably priced. And he's got integration of DX clusters. Um, you can actually put a VFO knob on it, which is pretty slick. Uh, and re you want to read about uh, um, Smart SDR for iOS. That's uh, pretty slick. The other one you've seen me talk about is uh, in a previous video is Slice Master. Now we're going to get into the sort of the developer stuff. So they don't have um, some guys have web pages, but some don't. Uh, Don uh, Baudry, K1 uh, Delta Bravo Oscar, writes this really cool interface tool that makes it uh, just a simple click on click interface with uh, things like uh, WSJT to get spots from logging programs or N1MM and a whole number of things. Uh, you can read about it here. He's got some good stuff. Uh, Don's also very active on our community. And uh, we were actually trading emails with uh, how do you how do you get four slices talking to WSJT? That's easy, but how do you get four copies of JT Alert working? So as of uh, today, which is near the end of December in 2018, uh, it's something he's sort of tinkering with right now. And oh, you're going to find a lot of these products overlap as well. Uh, FR Stack uh, um, is another pretty cool one. Uh, it does, oh, it can um, read your S meter. You can change slice settings and a whole bunch of really interesting management stuff of uh, the stack of parameters that your Flex Radio has. Uh, and you, again, read through this. Um, I, I use it and uh, for a number of different reasons. And uh, again, pretty powerful. And again, you can run FR Stack while you're running Slice Master or uh, type of thing. Now, SDR Bridge is, is another one. Um, you can, uh, by the way, Google all these and quickly find them. So SDR Bridge is, uh, was originally developed to help uh, interface CW Skimmer with uh, write log and um, and that's where part of its power is, and or most of its power as well. Uh, it's um, pretty cool. And, uh, of course, CW Skimmer, while we don't list it as working with Flex, works very well with the Flex IQ stream that allows you to uh, skim right off the, uh, the slices you're using, which is, uh, again, another pretty cool feature. Now, Ray... Um, uh, Kilo 9 Delta Uniform Radio writes a number of really very handy utilities. Uh, he's got a Morse keyer that uh, talks right to the radio. Uh, auto Center is an SDR Auto Center. I really have to try this one. I uh, I haven't. It looks like it's out. It's been pretty new uh, just at the beginning of the month, so i got to go give that a shot. The uh, SDR Memory uh, is a memory management system for your radio, so you can put all your nets or shortwave radio stations or whatever in into memory. Uh, SDR monitor is uh, for uh, health of the of the radio voltages, uh, amplifier voltages. FR Stack does this as, as well. Uh, if you're using a PGXL, just a bunch of cool monitoring stuff. Uh, SW Plotter 6K is actually something I use a lot on my remote. Uh, I have a 160 meter vertical uh, with elevated radials, and I've noticed that the SWR changes all over the place and it's directly related to whether the ground's frozen or not so it uh, gives me a nice little visual of swr and it scans the band for me in, in a plot uh voice gear for um uh, using for contests or whatever uh in parallel i also use n1mm's voice gear it drives an audio stream right through to the radio and uh ray's voice gear can do the same thing if you're not using n1mm but still one voice gear uh, and that's uh, that's a really powerful tool because you can then record your own uh, voice gear messages 
um, and then edit them and um, maybe you want to audio taper them a bit with programs like Audacity and, and, and have them trimmed so they're just perfect and then you, uh, you use them with uh, voice gear to play right into the radio. DDU Util has been around for a long time. Uh, it's a data decoder utility and it started with power sdr and was the uh, the octopus that kept everything playing together so ddutil does things like power control for amplifiers it can also drive steppers uh anything um cat related and does a great job of interfacing a bunch of things you can spend a lot of time in ddutil the wiki is very good uh, uh this wiki here that you can see and it has um uh, if you have to, if you have a question about how something works, I guarantee it's been written up on the wiki. One thing we should also discuss is logging programs. Now, most logging programs can work with your Flex Radio, although not directly. They do follow the old traditional way of connecting through to a serial port, which was the cable you had hanging over to the back of your computer, connected to the cable hitting to the back of your radio. Since we do that automatically now, or within the um, the product, uh, you may want to look at Smart SDR Cat. Uh, and you've seen this load before, and I want you to look at a couple of things here. I have a cat control for COM7 on slice A, and I have another cat control on COM9 for slice B. So what does that really mean? It means I can use those two ports, which emulate a, uh, a Kenwood uh, command set, to talk to many different logging programs as simple as Ham Radio Deluxe will work just fine. You'll, As you would set up your transceiver in the past, you'll just tell it to go to COM, uh, whatever number, in my case it was 7, select a Kenwood type, uh, usually a TS-2000 or TS-480, uh, works fine, and then HRD will be able to see the radio. The same thing is true whether you're using N uh, NF N3, <laughs> FJP, um, Carl software from M4PY, a lot more than the logging program, by the way. This does a lot of rig control, rotor control, amplifier control. Uh, a couple of our contesters use it as part of their uh, contesting station integration. Uh, log for our OM is another one. And if I apologize if I've missed out any other logging programs, uh, but many uh, can be made to work as simply as uh, talking to the, uh, the cat port. And one more thing, keep an eye on the Flex community at community.flexradio.com. Lots of good ideas. If you have any questions on integration, remote operating, problems integrating maybe with your station, maybe some router issues, uh, lots of talent there. Uh, you'll notice that some of the people that respond are, are tagged as Elmers, so they have uh, something they earn, and we, pr we upgrade them to Elmers so that you can trust their replies as being knowledgeable and well thought out and, and experts in the Flex Radio product set. So that's all I have. Uh, I hope you have a good day, and uh, thanks for having a moment to listen to me this afternoon or this morning or wherever you may be, and I hope some of these items help you out with your station integration. Take care.